We found in section 4.1 that there is a linear relationship between fertility rates and life expectancy for the 201 countries in 1962. If you recall, this was fertility rate, this was life expectancy, and so on. All right, so we're going to explain the meaning of the slope of the line in the context of the situation. Ah, so you might be thinking, slope of the line? Where do I have that? It's right here. The computer is giving it to you, right there. Well, that's the equation of the line, I should say. Now, technically, there should be a little hat over its head, but I wasn't able to do that when I, when I typed it up. All right, so the slope. Well, first of all, what is the slope? I mean, it's hard to interpret something that we don't know what it is. So the slope is a, which is the number that's multiplied by the x. So it's negative 4.6711. Now, if you'd like, you can think of that as negative 4.6711 over 1, because this is the change in y, do it this way, change in y, and this is the change in x. Actually, I reversed my colors. Um, on the previous page, I did the rise in orange, so I'm going to reverse them. I put the orange on top. Right? Okay, so my vertical drop is 4.6711 for my horizontal run of 1. Right, that's what they're telling us. All right, so there's the slope. You don't technically have to divide it by 1, but it's just useful for your own you know, benefit. Now, what does this mean? We want to explain the meaning. We want to interpret. So we have to go back to the script. On average, if x increases by 1, y is expected to increase or decrease by approximately a include units. Okay, so we'll say on average, in 1962, oops, 1962, if a country, because these are each dot is representing a country, so if a country had an increase in the fertility rate of one birth per woman, that's the unit, right, birth per woman. Okay, so all of that is the x. I'm saying if a country had an increase in the fertility rate by, of 1. So let me read the script again. If x increases by 1. So if the fertility rate of a country increases by 1. right? That's essentially what I'm saying. And you could write it that way. There, there are several ways you can write this. But essentially I'm saying, hey, x, which is fertility rate for these countries, increases by 1. Then... y is expected. y was the life expectancy. Then life expectancy is expected to decrease by 4.6711 years. Now, a couple things. This whole back end is the y part, right? Life expectancy. Oops, I guess right there, really. There. So that's the Y part right there. And you notice you can say it pretty straightforward, like I did here with life expectancy is expected to decrease, or you can get a little bit more flowery with it, with your language. But one way or another, you have to basically phrase out that Y is going to go down, right? All right, decrease, decrease because it's negative. So by saying the word decrease, I don't actually write negative 4.677. The negative part is taken care of by the word decrease right here. So when I say decrease, I choose that because it's negative. Right? So it's decreasing by 4.6711 years because that's my unit for life expectancy. All right. Now what about the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is 0, comma, and then it's the number that's off by itself, the constant, which is 81.51. That's the y-intercept.
Okay. Now, just to give it a little labeling, this is the y, this is the x. And you have to explain both of those numbers. So you'll say, in 1962, if a country had zero fertility rate, right? If a country had, well, I guess that's why it doesn't make sense. How exactly do you have a country that has zero fertility rate? Think about what that would mean, right? So that doesn't make any sense. And that's exactly why I read right there. I ask to explain why it doesn't make sense, because it doesn't. And I, I kind of started up short when I realized there was a problem, because you, don't, you wouldn't have a country with fertility rate zero, right? That means there's no babies being born in your country, which means you're not really going to have a country very long. So it's impossible for a country to have no fertility. Right? The x is 0 is a problem. Right? Because if x is 0 means no births per woman. And that's not possible. <laughs> All right. Now, the U.S. had a life expectancy of 70.21 back in 1962. And they want us to calculate the expected fertility rate back then. Ooh, sneaky. That's a math teacher question, right? So read very carefully, because they're telling us life expectancy. That's why. I mean, they're telling us why is 70.21 back in 1962. Then they're asking us to calculate the expected fertility. In other words, what's x? All right, so let's write the equation again. The equation was, uh, let's see, y hat equals negative 4.6711 x, x is unknown. Well, I'll just leave it, x plus 81.51. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set it equal to 70.21, because that's a y value, and we're going to solve it for x. It's a tiny bit of algebra, just a very little bit. <laughs> right. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is subtract 81 from both sides. Right, get that out of there and get it to the other side. So minus 81.51, minus 81.51. Let me grab a calculator. If you don't have a graphing calculator, you can grab Dasmos. That'll work. So 70.21 take away 81.51. It gives you a negative 11.3. Oops. Uh, let me bring it over here so you can see it. There it is. I guess I should just move the calculator. That would be easier. <laughs> OK, so there you have it. So now, and I did that because that was added, and the opposite of adding is subtraction, oh, subtraction, subtracting. So that means these two disappear, and then I'm left with negative 11.3. This is multiplication right here, negative 4.6711 times x. And the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we want to divide the left side by a negative, or excuse me, the right side by a negative 4.6711, and therefore we want to divide the left also by a negative 4.6711. Because whatever you do to the right, you have to do to the left to keep it all fair and balanced. So negative, that's this little negative sign down here. By the way, that's not subtraction. It's the little negative sign in the parentheses. 11.3 divided by another little negative sign, 4.6711. You'll know if you do it wrong, by the way, because if you hit subtraction sign, it'll do this ANS thing, which is not what you want. So that's that's the difference between this minus sign over here, subtraction, which you don't want, and little negative sign down there next to the enter, which you do want. All right, so we get x is 2.42, roughly. And that's what we were looking for. Now, 2.42 what? This was x. x was fertility rate. So fertility rate is births per woman. So that would be our unit. It'd be births per woman. Per, by the way, P-E-R means division. 
right? So you can use division sign to stand for that, births per woman.